With the debut single and the new band, it's kind of undeniably uh, a new chapter for yourselves creatively. Yeah. yeah. When you look back prior to that, are there specific moments that stand out as being important on the road to this point? Um, well, I think for us, it was kind of just kind of cementing the members. Yeah. We kind of went through a bit of a turmoil with people leaving a lot. And then we just decided that it'll be us two that go, that go forward. And I think it was also, I used to write terrible songs, like terrible <laughs> lyrics, like not even going to- They great, to be honest. Weren't great. And then uh, finally, it, it just one day clicked and I had a riff sorted and we just kind of built it from there. And then we just yeah. practiced We also lot. wanted to actually like get a song down as well. Because yeah. we, we hadn't had, it, we'd been in band for like, what, two, two and a half, three yeah. years. And we'd never had like a full song to actually release or anything like that. So we wanted to get something written and sorted and recorded. Yeah, I and mean. we felt that was the best yeah, sort of that song, was the best. We? That was the best that we came out with at the time, yeah. But we're still writing stuff that's yeah. hopefully, it's hopefully better, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm interested by that idea that it just, you know, it clicked one day. Did it feel different after that point? Did anything actually change or... Have you kind of, how do you unpack that? Um, I know it is quite strange because, as I said before, I was terrible at writing songs, but it just so happened that I had something written in my notes on my iPhone and it just worked perfectly with this kind of riff that I made that yeah. went along. I think um, the stuff that we maybe wrote before was too complicated and the stuff that I would write was almost like a novel. It wasn't yeah. very, like, song. We had, like, we had a lot of, like, different parts that didn't come together properly and... Um, it was just, there was too much going on in half the songs that we were writing. Because I think we both wanted to kind of make it a bit different and, yeah. and and have our own sort of parts each. And then it was just, there was far too much going on in different songs. Whereas this song sort of had that clean sort of break in it. Yeah, and, it just, and then, yeah, because I always thought that each line that I had to write had to be like this meaningful thing, but it's not really <laughs> like that. At least not for this one, anyway. <laughs> so it's kind of... Yeah, it just weirdly clicked, and and since then we've kind of been on a roll. Yeah, like songwriting writing, wise. Songwriting wise, definitely. Yeah. And I think it's like it was kind of a step. Um, I think that's just us, what yeah. we needed as well is just that first sort of song to get actually fully written, recorded, and sorted out, and then once we got that, we've just started actually writing full songs instead yeah. of like half of a song and going, "No, nah, that's shite. <laughs> just yeah, get that out of the way." Yeah. Yeah. The, did it feel easier after you wrote that first one? Um, no, it's, it, it didn't it, for it, like a good three months. We were literally writer's block, basically. Yeah, <laughs> I think like, that's what we struggle with. It's like we'll get an initial idea, and then it's just it's just difficult to move on. I don't know if it's because yeah. we're not feeling inspired, or if it's or if it's forced. But I still, to this day, kind of struggle with like songwriting. Um, but it is something that we try and improve. Yeah, on. we do try. Writing and the parts it. we're really good at, like all the instruments and stuff, but. The lyrics just seem to uh, kind of get to us a little bit. Yeah, we have like a massive backlog, backlog of songs. Yeah. That have just got no lyrics. To <laughs> yeah, we've got like tons of demos with no <laughs> lyrics, so it's quite good. <laughs> yeah. What are you tapping into when you're writing the lyrics then? Is it the atmosphere of that instrumental? Yeah, and I've, it's definitely the atmosphere of the instrumental. And then also, I can only write stuff about, I can't really like make stuff up, if that makes sense. Like yeah. It's got to be like personal experience or something that we've both experienced or something that we're both relatable to. I, I can't just... John does like most story. of the writing, so he will he'll he will come up with most of the actual song. I'll obviously have my inputs, but he does come up. You, you're, It's mostly yeah. your creative work. So and then Sam will say, that's terrible, and I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah. That's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, he'll be like, this is shocking. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it was good. So it's just that process of elimination, I think, at some points. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I kind of overcomplicate it a little bit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, with this first single, you are looking at some of the darker moments perhaps in your past and it touches upon things like mental health and kind of struggles with that. Where do you find the strength when you're in those darker moments to come back from them? Um, well, I'll take this one. Well, I think for me personally, <laughs> um, the, the song wasn't about any, anyone particular. It was actually about a kind of TV series and the lead character was this kind of horrible person. But they had this terrible upbringing, so you kind of you kind of hate them, but what, like kind of feel sorry for them at the same time. So for me, and I've also thought it's important to speak about things that are actually important. I don't really want to write like love songs or and speak about anything that's menial. I think it's important to like to be yourself and yeah. speak about things. Not saying that we have to be like a politically correct band, but like, I think I think yeah. it was more like John had taken like different experiences from obviously watching that program and, and different other experiences that he's 
heard of and things like that. I don't think it's not like a personal it's sort of experience. It's not a personal thing, no. It's more like just taking different sort of clips and then putting it yeah. into one song. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of like, kind of, like, a, I don't know what, it's kind of like, uh, I'm kind of admiring this character that I've watched and built and like throughout, throughout the tenure of watching the TV series. So it's kind of, yeah. It's kind of like a, like a hump. I've never watched yeah. it. I didn't write it. <laughs> so. Is it a homage? Is that what you would say? Like, I don't know. Yeah, kind of to the character itself, which I thought was really interesting. I really liked the, the storyline stuff. So that's what kind of appealed to me more. I think it's important. Yeah. The desire that you have as a group to write, like you're saying, there are songs about things that aren't, you know, just simple love songs and they are touching upon deeper, important issues. Mm -hmm. Is that something you've carried the whole way through, even before the songs started clicking? Was that always a conscious intention? Yeah, definitely. Um, that is something that I think I'd that say we've... I'd say it's something we've actually managed to. There's not many things we've managed to keep going as a band for the four years that we've been in a band, but that's the one sort of thing. That's that a general kinda... consensus. Yeah. It is. As it a, as a bit doom and gloomy, and sometimes I do think should it be like that? Should it just be what people gain from it that listen to it? But I think it's for me, it's kind of I like knowing that we're writing about something that's important. We also don't want to obviously have every song like that because then it can get really <laughs> depressing. Yeah, that's what we're trying to worry about, of... but that's just who we are. Yeah. When we write songs, at least, we want to talk about stuff that's not really, it's not really out there. Yeah. There was an Alanis Morissette quote that I really like where she says that songwriting is cathartic, but it's not healing. Yeah. Where do you stand on that? Where Does that ring true for you? Um, I think... I mean, we do most of the song when when there's songwriting going on. John does write a lot of the lyrics, um, and you you basically you he'll kind of say to me. So look, whenever we're getting to practice and things like that, he'll say to me, "Oh, listen to this," or he'll send me stuff. And then what we'll do together is we we'll, we do write some lyrics together, or John will give me a basis of what the lyrics could be, and then we'll go through it together. And it is quite like we do spend ages on it. To be fair, yeah. we spend quite a while on it. So I suppose it can be sort of cathartic, but. I think because we, look, I don't really know. To we be put honest. a lot of pressure on ourselves to, to come up with the best work that we can do, and I think sometimes that can take away from the enjoyment of it. Yeah. So when we finally released this, it was more of a weight off our shoulders. Because um, we chucked a lot of stuff. Because we chucked Cause a lot it was, of stuff. It was yeah. like proper chucking stuff away all yeah. the time. Yeah. So it is, it is, it is quite a strenuous task and I was writing songs but probably could have had about two albums by now yeah we could with have the amount of stuff but, 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 but for myself Sam will, Sam will say this I'm really picky yeah I, like, I'll change my mind on anything sometimes I don't even like my own stuff or <laughs> bands that I've loved for years I'm like oh mm, not taking you'll stop listening to them yeah <laughs> I just go through these stages but yeah it's definitely a strenuous structure and it, it can be a bit like, yeah tedious I mean, and painful yeah but but it's good to get stuff out there and see that people like it as well. Does being in a band ease that when you kind of have that direct support network within each other, as opposed to doing it on an individual level? I think so for yeah, me. Yeah, definitely, I, 100%. I could, yeah. Because it's better. Look, like, we can't. I suppose we can't. You can't almost like we never write stuff like lyrics on our own. Well, we hardly write anything on our own. Sometimes we do, like maybe do a bit and then send it to each other. But most of the lyrics, most of the actual song is written when we're with each other. Yeah. And it's not, um, so we do, most of the writing is done by both me and John at the exact same time. But there is a lot of times where, especially during lockdown, John was sending me stuff because I literally know no instrument. I only know how to play the drums, so I don't know how to like actually write a song properly. So John was sending me a lot of stuff and I would obviously like say, like, yeah, no, that's decent or no, scrap that. Yeah, <laughs> which is good. I think it's good when we're honest with each other. Yeah. I think you could easily just getting your feelings yeah, because and take also, it badly. Also, if you're writing your own stuff and then I'm not particularly keen on it, we're not there to obviously, if he's right, if, imagine he writes a full song, he's really happy with it, and then I'm not there to say anything. Like, if, if I think it's rotten, half the time I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, but I think that works well for us. Yeah, we don't take it's it better if we do it all. together because we don't take, no. So it's, bit, it's always better if we do it together. Yeah. And, I and actually, do yeah, yeah, don't definitely. think we could do it on our own. Because I honest. like the fact that we're, I know for some bands it's kind of like an individual basis where it's like the singer, whoever it will be, will write the whole song and that's it. That's how you've got to play it. Yeah. Whereas I want this to be like a kind of together thing, like a band, like how the way it should be. Because like Sam was saying, although he doesn't play other parts, that doesn't stop him from saying, maybe sing this like that. There's plenty of times yeah. where Sam's like, sing it like this. Or 
you would sing it a tune on the guitar and that's how we came up with some of the stuff as yeah. well isn't it no so no it is yeah definitely kind of work better as a duo than in like oh, ourselves 100%. yeah <laughs> how has being in this band together impacted your friendship outside of it um, and the well, dynamic of we, that we actually became friends because of this band yeah, like, that's the only really reason we, we, because yeah. we didn't know each other um, we, we, we didn't know each other uh, until the actual band started so it was someone that John was pals with came to me and said, oh, me and John are starting a band. And then that person left and then me and John decided to go on with the band. So we've actually been pals the whole way through. It's never really, there's never been any impact to it whatsoever, to be honest. Actually. Yeah, it's just made us a lot closer, definitely. Because yeah. we can separate being in a band and then going out and being pals and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes that is difficult to, to do yeah. To do that but we've, because we, we're like, we're, we're obsessed with the band, we're obsessed with, we're doing stuff with our lives and you know like so we've kind of known though is being yeah. pals and having a band at the same time whereas some people have always been pals and then they start a band together and then that can affect the friendship whereas we've only we know each, known other, yeah. each other since the band started yeah with what you said earlier on about being so honest in that setting and the fact that you can tell you know that the person if it's not something that particularly floats your boat yeah is that something you have from the beginning then when you weren't friends when you came into the group well, that's what we're saying. So that the first time I actually met Sam was within, within yeah. the band. So it wasn't that. That's something that we've never really experienced like straight off the bat. But even when I my pals in real life, like yeah, we're, there's a we're, lot. Of... We're, we're, a, we're well, I don't always. Really, we're, we're, well, I'm a bit of a warrior, and Sam would just say like, you know, calm down, or it's fine. So yeah. it's like we're always kind of we do we us. we rip the absolute shit out of each yeah. other as well. So I mean, yeah. there is that sort of like. Because we do just take the absolute piss half the time as well, so... Yeah. Yeah, it was basically, yeah. Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. literally, I was just like... I was sagging them rock before we no, came in here, yeah. actually, yeah. I mean, there's no, we, we don't really... If you, I, I'm trying to think how to say it, but we don't... We don't really, like, care what each other say to each like, what we say to each other, because we know it's not... We know, no one takes it, no one takes it to heart. So it's always quite good in that sense that we know that we can say... If I don't like a song of John's, or if John doesn't like what I'm coming up with, we know we can say to them, and and and, and neither of us would take it at heart. Yeah, because that's what we were in the band for, wasn't it? Yeah. Just being honest with each other. Yeah, definitely. The six other members have taken it at heart when we've asked <laughs> them. To leave. I know. I know. It's ridiculous how many people we've had in the band and all that. But oh well, it's best. Yeah. To keep, it's best when it's just you can't force people at the end. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you very much, guys. No problem. No Thank you. Cheers.